My video for January the 9th, 2018, is entitled, The Dangers of Government Secrecy. Before he left office, President Dwight David Eisenhower warned us of the dangers of the, quote, military industrial complex, end quote, in his final speech on January the 17th, 1961. His successor, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, gave a famous speech before he was brutally murdered. He said, quote, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society, and we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and secret proceedings, end quote. Of course, the word government means mind control. And that is always kept secret by those charlatans with evil intent to rule the world. They do this by controlling the monetary system and the media in their favor, thus rendering actual reform that could benefit humanity null and void. Still, many of us are waking up. The question is, is the awakening too little, too late? I've been pondering uh, for some time now, uh, actually the last month or two, ending my daily videos. Uh, tomorrow's video will be the, the end of the seventh year of making videos every day, only missing those times when I was in the operating room in intensive care during my open heart surgery uh, a couple years or so ago. And part of that pondering is wanting to wake people up. Will, if I stop making my daily videos, will that thwart the efforts of people to awake? Of course, there are many others besides myself who are trying to wake people up. But uh, it still seems to me that there is no real awakening yet. I'm going to read to you, though, uh, a little portion of both Ike's and JFK's speech. JFK said, or I'm sorry, Ike said, quote, we annually spend on military security alone more than the net income of all United States corporations. Now this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large armed arms industry is new in the American experience. The total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city, every state house, every office of the federal government. We recognize the imperative need for this development, yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. Our toil, resources, and livelihood are all involved. So is the very structure of our society. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought by the military industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. We should take nothing for granted. Only an alert and knowledgeable citizenry can compel the proper meaning of the huge industrial military machinery of defense with our peaceful methods and goals so that security and liberty may prosper together. And Kennedy's speech, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. We are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths and secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted uh, concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon 
uh, seized upon those anxious to should be by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it is in my power, in my control. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to siphle dissent, to cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies on covert means for expanding the sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned. No rumor is printed. No secret is revealed. Those speeches, the portions at least that I just read, should be, be broadcast around the world regularly so that people that didn't hear the speeches or don't know about them can become informed of how some of our former leaders saw what is going on in the world and tried their best to warn us of it. It has been a long time in American history now, I'm speaking now in light, in you in you and a human lifetime sense. Uh, it has been a long time since we have had politicians that ha are courageous enough to do that. Now, perhaps Trump is shedding some light on the problem and trying to bring down the corrupt cabal, but he's up against tremendous odds and part of the problem is that so many people in the United States and around the world have been brainwashed in the very system and by the very system that enslaves humanity. What are we going to do to end this insanity of allowing demonic influences, people with, the, with greedy and evil intent to rise to positions of power and control in human society anywhere on earth, no corner of the world should be, uh, should be, should these people and this game plan be allowed to continue to exist. The cabal must be brought down. The people that run the secret state behind the public face of the state need to be taken out of power and need to be uh, imprisoned. Uh, if they don't repent, they need to be killed. They need to be taken completely out of commission, universally, worldwide, forever. Not for a thousand years, millennium or something like that, but forever. They should not be allowed to exist in the world anywhere, at any time, ever, ever. When are we going to understand that we can grow much faster by knowing the truth? You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But we are living in an age of lies and liars, and those liars hold an unwarranted grip on power that must be stopped and must be overthrown. I may not continue my videos much longer. I am really debating that, whether I want to start an eighth year or how I want to make adjustments, but something has to change. Thank you for listening. Namaste.